16, part four, French for reading. We're gonna look at two special uses of the conditional. First one is gonna be the conditional describing what is supposed to be. It might not actually be the case. So sometimes the conditional, rather than using would, is we can use is supposed to be rather than translating. Or alternately, sometimes it means pretends to be or will pretend to be, or sometimes even claims to be. So here's a couple examples. Un poète serait prophète. So literally it is a poet would be a prophet. Now, what does that mean? A poet is supposed to be a prophet. The idea that this is what it ought to be like. Um, the poet is supposed to say things that, that touch and change societies. We could, another uh, possibility is ce poet serait prophète. So this is rather than just a poet in general, we've got this poet here uh, pretends to be a prophet or claims to be a prophet. So that's uh, uh, different ways of uh, uh, using the uh, conditional. Now, a, a, a difficult, to, more difficult to understand uh, translation is when we have two independent clauses in the conditional separated by a comma. Now, what do I mean by an independent clause? Something that could be a sentence that ends in a period. And so if we have like two sentences, both in the conditional separated by a comma, not by a period, we're going to translate the first conditional with an implied even s, if. So our example here is, on passerait tout son temps à étudier le français. So we've got the conditional. One would spend, so passer son temps means to spend time. So one could spend all of his or her time studying French. L'on ne comprendrait pas tout. And so here we've got a second clause one would not understand everything. So we've got the conditional would spend all his time or her time. And here we've got the conditional would not understand everything. So we can put that together. Even if we spent all of our time studying French, we wouldn't understand everything. So we put even if on the first conditional and then change it to the present. And the second we leave as a conditional. So this is a strange conjunction, two conditionals in a row that look like independent sentences, but joined by a comma. The first one means even if this happens, then something would happen or not happen. So here is um, uh, some exercises. Try using what we've just covered to translate these, write down your answers and check them on the next video.